With week three of trios officially concluding, I think this is the week that we are really going to see the most drama come around with who is actually going to be getting dropped and which trios are going to be sticking going into OG Fortnite now. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as we are trying to hit 80,000 subs by the end of October. Use code KDOG in the Fortnite item shop if you guys want to support me even more. I know a lot of you guys were asking whether or not there's going to be an episode of Peterbot's Peak this week and I think I'm just going to wait until the very last trio event of the season is over. Without further ado, do though let's get straight into today's video all right let's start off with the big one that got announced from mr savage himself and he tweeted out looking for trio plus one with mongrel or as a solo now this honestly left a lot of fans really surprised by this because i don't really think a lot of people saw any world where mongrel and mr savage were going to split up and we did see mr savage talk about on his stream that he is not just fully dropping mongrel right now he just wants to explore his trio options and he ended up playing the trio cash cup with paco and z andy but the only real reason why he wasn't playing with mongrel this week is because mongrel is still on vacation right now and just really enjoying his life as he hasn't played the past like three cash cups with mr savage at this point now this is honestly a team that really intrigues me a lot because if mr savage is looking for one with mongrel still i really don't know what options they are going to be able to find as a lot of you guys probably know marius has officially left them to go play with his brand new trio now so the mmm trio does look like it is officially done with and i truly do believe that marius was going to be the very best option that these two were going to get as at this point in mongrel's career it just doesn't really seem like too many tier one or like top of the tier two pros would really want to play with him so that is why i just don't really know what the real ceiling of this trio is going to be i think we can also still all agree that mr savage is a very good player he has the potential to be a tier one igl on eu he just really needs to have the right pieces around him to be able to maximize his full potential and to succeed with it but i mean also if we're just going off of the last cash cup of him playing with paco and z andy like if those are going to be his options going forwards and the most respectful way possible to those two players he might as well just stick with mongrel and if anything i think they are going to at least stick together for og season because you guys know mongrel is always going to be super big during og season mr savage is and maybe if they can find like a content third trio maybe if they bring like mitra or something back for some fun content for og season and it really just depends what both mongrel and mr savage individually want to do going forwards and especially in 2025 because if mr savage wants to win i really do believe that he is not going to be able to do so with mongrel and especially since it is trios now he cannot just fully carry the load and i'm not trying to like bash on mongrel or anything here i still do think he is improving every single season but we just have to say it as it is he has looked pretty rough in trios recently and i'm not sure if it's just because he hasn't been grinding and if he's just not really motivated for this season and as soon as og fortnite season comes back if he's going to be full grinding then i think if they are able to find a good third then the potential will be there but if mongrel isn't grinding and he just doesn't like the game and by the time fncs comes around next year i wouldn't be surprised if mr savage ended up dropping mongrel we would potentially see mongrel go back into retirement let me know what you guys think about this one though and let's move on to the next big name of clicks now the thing with clicks is he has come out and say multiple times now that he is just not really going to be taking the game too seriously until og season comes out again we have seen him play with courage jd frantic and stable ronaldo and lacy in the last three cash cups so if that literally tells you anything you can really Really tell how much he cares about the last couple tournaments of the season and it looked like he was pretty locked into the trio of muzz and rise until honestly the last two cash cups if you guys remember two weeks ago now they really did struggle in the trio cash cup finals mainly because of the fact that clicks it was getting stream sniped and that is just always going to be the issue with playing with clicks and for somebody like rise who really isn't used to playing like big tournaments on stream a lot of people really thought at that point that he would kind of be done playing with clicks and done playing on stream in general because he really just doesn't want to deal with the stream sniping issue and then last week when clicks was playing with stable ronaldo and lacy muzz and rise ended up picking up a v for the trio cash cup and they ended up placing second place in the finals this is when people really started to make it a much bigger deal and like clicks was tweeting like under that that like aviv sold like obviously he was joking around but he was kind of like saying that if he was out there then things would be different and they would have won and things like that and i honestly do still think clicks is an absolutely insane player i think even if he does get dropped by muzz and rise he would still be able to find a pretty decent decent trio but i think his best trio options were obviously originally bolt and rapid but there's no way they drop pollo for clicks at this point his second best option was going to be rise and an insane fighter and it, they ended up getting muzz which i feel like all three of those players just really worked well together and they were all three players that were kind of struggling to find teams surprisingly and so them all meshing with each other kind of just worked out in the end the thing with this trio is it really just depends on if rise wants to play on stream or not because obviously rise isn't a streamer aviv isn't a 
streamer and then muzz is the only person on the trio that is kind of like a streamer but, but he's not someone that cares about streaming as much as clicks obviously and he definitely doesn't come with as many stream snipers as clicks does i think clicks is going to be back in dallas for the very last trio cash cup and we're really just gonna have to see how things go there for this trio because i think muzz and rise realize the potential they have together and i think rise really does like playing with clicks this is one of them where i just feel like we're just gonna have to wait and see what is actually going to happen for this trio let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think rise and muzz should drop clicks and play with aviv or if you guys think they should continue to stick together build up chemistry and get better all right let's talk about the one that has definitely been the biggest topic of discussion ever since the last trio cash cup occurred and that is the trio of pure bot cold and booga after not even qualifying for the finals now a lot of people are just instantly making the scapegoat booga and they're saying that peter bot and cold have to drop booga and pick up somebody else because he is clearly the weakest link on this team and he is definitely holding them back now i just have to say a couple of different things this is not me defending the trio or anything because obviously anytime three players of this caliber are on the same team they should never have to wait until the very last game to be able to try to clutch a qualification spot in a format that is a top 198 teams qualifying for finals i'm just saying that i think this team would be a lot better in set lobby formats they are still an insane w key team and in a w king format they still are very good and they have showed that in the first two weeks of trio cash cups they literally could have won finals if they got a final queue but i think a lot of people are just really like blowing all of this a little bit out of proportion as at the end of the day fncs is going to be set lobbies and who is the best players and which trios actually gel together the most and have the best trio dynamic working together and i think the trio of cold peterbot and booga just work very well together as you obviously have booga being the main igl slash tarper and then you can let peterbot and cold who are arguably the two best fighters in the world do what they do best and that is obviously get eliminations for their team i think the main person that everyone is bringing up right now on who peterbot and cold should pick up is either Poyo, bolts or vino i think if they pick up any of these three people then they would still be the fncs favorites going forwards but what a lot of people are not realizing right now is roles are very important in trios if you put bolts peterbot and cold all on the same team one of them is going to have to get limited in what they can do skill wise like you guys obviously all know peterbot can go absolutely crazy and get a bunch of elims at any time cold can do the same thing and bolts can do the same thing so if you are simply limiting one of those three players to just tarping and then playing heal off while the other two are just going for frags that is just fully limiting the potential of one of the players on this trio this is where i think there could be a potential ego clash between any of those three players as they have all been very used to being the main fraggers or fighters on their team so if you are completely taking away their best ability not only are you limiting them as a player but they could also think in their head why do i have to be the one to do this which could just cause further problems down the line and i mean yeah i guess it still would be a very fun team to watch and they would almost be impossible to beat in a fight but for this goes for both bolts and Poyo as well i just don't think they have any reason right now to split from their trio which is currently Poyo, bolts and rapid because they have looked like by far the best trio in the world right now and i think basically anyone would want the chance to play with peterbot and cold but at the same time what's not broken don't go and try to fix it and also people have been looking for somebody to take down peterbot for the longest now so why not be that person i feel like the only person out of the three rumored players would be able to fit the role that booga is currently playing in would be vino vino is definitely just a better like overall player than booga obviously and i think vino would be one of those people that is okay with stepping down and just tarping and then playing heal off and things like that we've seen vino say that he doesn't want to play with peterbot and cold anymore after all the drama that happened but i think if peterbot and cold were very serious about wanting to play with him they would still play together their whole trio situation is honestly just really difficult to tell right now because there is so many different things that could happen as i feel like almost any player both na and eu would drop everything they have to get the chance to play with peter and cold let me know in the comment section down below though which trio you actually want to see peterbot and cold end up playing with as of right now i think they should still stick with booga and just see what happens because i think booga really does just mesh well with peterbot and cold and he can do exactly what they need him to let me know what you guys think about this though in the comment section down below i think we just have to at least discuss this we don't really know exactly what's going to happen with this trio but a team that has just been disappointing so far is vino queasy and pixie they have placed very poorly in the first two finals and then weren't even able to qualify for the third finals i'm not sure if all three of these players just need to find a brand new trio or if pixie is going to be the odd man out here and vino and queasy are going to look for a new third this has just been a very interesting team to me over the last couple of weeks and obviously we had all that drama at the beginning of the season like i talked 
talked about earlier with Avino trying to get onto the trio with Cold and Peter. So he is clearly like willing to split up with Queezy to find a better option. And I think if Vino and Queezy were looking for a new third, I think they would have a lot of very good options. But this trio right now with Pixie, Queezy, and Vino is just not working. Other than that though, let me know your guys' thoughts on, on every single person that is on drop watch now. Let me know who you guys think is going to get dropped, who you guys think is going to get picked up. We got the final trio cast cup of the season coming up very soon. And you guys already know I will be there to make a video for it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new though, as we are trying to hit 80k subscribers by the end of October. Use code KDOG in the form of the item shop if you guys want to support me even more. YouTube says don't enjoy one or two videos up on the screen right now, so go check them out if you guys haven't already. Follow me on my Twitter, actually KDOG, to keep up to date with everything to do with Fortnite competitive. Thank God for another day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.